matters. Seymour's gone over it by three metres with his second attempt. He kicked it closer to the mark the first time. 100% he did. Now Rapira on the restart. They're funny blokes from Phoenix. Ten minutes to go. Vulcans need a try. Gavitt is with the ball and aggressive and he had his arms free and able to offload. Now Isaac John has got away from Romolo. Has offloaded to Godinay. Support just wasn't there. One pass they score under the posts. They may still score. Mara with it. Well they're all offside the Bulldogs on that play. He couldn't pass because they're all the Bulldogs are in front of him. Kiggy with a dummy. Kiggy. At this time they've got them offside. So Mara and away to Gavitt. Front rower takes another run. Five from the line. Deep line to the right hand side. Mara, they go left though. The ball, Robinson. Great goal line defence from the Bulldogs. Now a dummy. Over goes Godinay. Checking little number seven, scoring like that. Peter Godinay has put the Vulcans back in the contest again. Yeah, we said it earlier in the call that an eight point lead to the Bulldogs should not be seen as any leeway or comfort zone because the Vulcans are very, very capable of putting quick tries together. We saw here some lovely ball movement bursting into the backfield. And from there, it was just a matter of time before they forced their way over the line. And now Seymour has a kick to get within two. The grand final's alive again. Oh, there's more points to come. The uh, meter ticks up to 48. This kick for fifth. difference again. Well, I can tell you when the Bulldogs got to a 26 to 18 lead with an eight point lead, one punter has run TAB Sports Fit and had 60,000 on the Bulldogs at a dollar two. He's suddenly gone for the Scotch.